Eight quick tests that can reveal your health problems. We all know prevention is better than cure, so give your health a quick check right now with eight simple tests. There will be a bonus at the end of the video to help you understand how to get rid of a headache. Are you ready? Then hit thumbs up and let's start. Eyesight. Amsler's test helps identify macular degeneration, a condition that makes the eyesight less sharp. Macular degeneration usually appears among people older than 50 and progresses very quickly. It can lead to complete blindness. You should do this test in a well-lit room. Put the picture 10 to 15 inches away from your eyes. Don't lean your head forward or to the side and don't squint. Cover one eye with your hand and look at the point without blinking for 10 seconds. Try it now. Ten seconds are up. Now do the same with the other eye. If all the lines are even, without any distortions, cuts, or gray spots, it means that your retina is perfectly healthy. However, if you notice that in some part of the picture the lines are noticeably curved, you should see a doctor immediately. Stamina. Intense physical exercises are not recommended for elderly people and people who have some cardiovascular conditions. Before you do any physical activity, you should perform a few simple tests. Find your pulse, count the beats per minute. Now do 20 squats. I have faith in you, you can do it. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Done. Good job. Count the pulse again. If the number of beats increased by 25%, it means that you are absolutely okay. If the difference is 25 to 50%, it means that your cardiovascular system is weak. If the number of beats increased by more than 50%, warning, you need to see a doctor. You might have a developing condition. You can't run this next test in the room, but make sure to try it today. Walk up to the fourth floor. Don't run, just take the stairs. Walk calmly, but not slowly. Find your pulse and count the beats per minute. If your pulse is around 120 beats per minute, you're okay. If your pulse is more than 120 beats per minute, or you started panting or experiencing chest pain, you should see a doctor. Even when you are experiencing intense physical activity, your heart rate shouldn't be higher than the limit. The limit is different for different ages. To calculate your own limit, subtract your age from 220. For example, 220 minus 40 equals 180, which means that your heart rate shouldn't be higher than 180 beats per minute. Elderly people and people who have heart conditions should multiply the number by 0.5 and 0.6. For example, 220 minus 60 equals 160. 160 times 0.5 equals 80. 160 times 0.6 equals 96. So your heart rate while doing physical exercises should be from 80 to 96 beats per minute. This here is some very important math. Posture. Stand naturally and ask someone to watch you. If your back becomes more round by 45% or more and your hips come forward, this indicates a serious spinal curvature and you may have kyphosis. A curve on your spine also indicates that there is something wrong with it. In this case, you should see a doctor to get the exact diagnose and treatment. There is another simple test that can indicate that you have a rounded back. Take two pencils or pens in your hands and put your hands down alongside your body. If the pencils are parallel to each other, it means that your posture is fine. If the pencils point at each other, it means that you have a rounded back. Ask someone to watch you or to take some photographs of you. 
use a ruler, or simply do it in your imagination, to form a line from your earlobe to the bone in your shoulder. If the line is straight, you're okay. If the earlobe is a little further than the bone, it indicates that you have problems with your posture. Nowadays, almost everyone has a rounded back. It is often caused by a sedentary lifestyle. In order to set your posture right, try to keep a straight back when working and do special exercises. Why don't we try one of those exercises right now? The prone Y extension exercise will help to strengthen your upper back muscles, which are responsible for good posture. Get down on the floor. Your legs should be shoulder width apart. Make a Y out of your body, stretching your arms over your head. Now, try lifting your torso. At the same time, rotate your shoulders so that your palms look up. Stay like this for five to 10 seconds. Do three sets of eight repetitions. Let's try it once again now. Make a Y. Now, rotate your shoulders. Remember to keep your back straight. You can also try doing this exercise facing a wall. Respiratory system. The following tests will help you evaluate the functioning of your respiratory system, the oxygen distribution across your body, and find out if you have any problems with blood circulation. Get a timer on your phone ready. Sit down and take a few deep breaths. Breathe out and take a deep breath and hold it. Now set the timer. It's better to hold the nose with your hand. See how long you can hold your breath. The normal result for a healthy person shouldn't be less than 40 seconds for men and 30 seconds for women. After five minutes, take a few deep breaths again and then hold your breath after you fully breathe out. A healthy person can spend 25 to 40 seconds like this. By the way, athletes have higher results, so using your result, you can estimate how trained your body is. Hearing test. You can find out if you have hearing that's worse than average, and you have reasons to be concerned about it by taking our hearing test we've shared in this video. Bonus, what your headache is trying to tell you. Headaches can be different, both in terms of intensity and location. If you feel a headache in the front of your head, it means that you are not sleeping enough. If your headache is located in the back of your head, it's a signal of high stress levels. Relax more and you will feel better. Finally, if you have a headache in the upper part of your head, it might mean that you are not getting enough food and water. Change your diet habits. Did you run these tests with us? Share your results in the comments. Like this video if you found it useful. If it gets to 2,500 likes, we'll share more useful health tips. Subscribe to our channel to be the first to see our updates.